So if we will uh, see, okay. we'll just see a numerical on this. Okay, uh, so this is a very simple uh, example on meter bridge. Here in this example, uh, in meter bridge, the balancing length from the lift and when the standard resistance of 1 ohm is in right gap is found to be 20 centimeter. That means the balancing length from the left end of the meter bridge is 20 centimeter. The value of the standard resistance is 1 ohm and we need to determine the value of the unknown resistance which is present in the left gap of the meter bridge. Okay, so that means the meter bridge, if we'll draw a rough diagram of meter bridge, you can see that on the left gap we have the unknown resistance whose value we have to determine the right gap we have a standard resistance whose value is 1 ohm okay the balancing length okay the balancing uh, length from left is found to be 20 centimeters that means there is no deflection in the galvanometer for a balancing length of 20 centimeter okay for this length there is no deflection okay so from left end we have a distance of 20 centimeter the balancing length is 20 centimeter that means at the right end the balancing length would be 100 minus 20 that means 80 centimeters okay so this is the uh, conditions uh, these are the uh, parameters which are given to us and from this we have to determine the value of the unknown resistance so since the bridge is uh, said to be balanced at this point we can uh, write this expression x is equal to r to lx upon 100 minus lx so the value of R, the standard resistance is given as 1 ohm. In centimeters, the length is, balancing length is 20. This is from the left end, 20 divided by 100 minus 20. Okay. So this will give us a value of 1 by 4, which is 0.25 ohms. Okay. So this is the value of the unknown resistance. So from this uh, numerical we can see that we can determine the value of the unknown resistance and we could have got the same value of the unknown resistance if we would have interchanged the value of the standard resistance and the uh, unknown uh, resistance that means if this uh, unknown resistance uh, resistor would have been in the right gap and the known resistor that is and standard resistance would have been on the left gap the only thing that would have changed would be the balancing length okay then this would correspond this would have corresponded to 80 centimeter and this length would have corresponded to 20 centimeter okay so uh, this is uh, uh, how we can see that uh, we can determine the value of the unknown resistance. The, now the next thing uh, which we'll be studying is about potentiometer. Okay.
Uh, no, potentiometer. Uh, this is basically a device which is used to measure the EMF, or uh, we can say that it is uh, it is used to compare the EMF of the cells. Okay, and uh, it is also also used to determine the value of internal resistance of the cell. Okay, so potentiometer we can say that it is more versatile than a voltmeter. A voltmeter can measure a potential difference, but uh, here we can see that potentiometer uh, is actually a device which can uh, ID which can uh, properly measure the potential difference. We will see later what are the differences between potentiometer and a voltmeter. Okay, but for now just we need to understand that potentiometer is a device which is used to compare EMF of cells and it is also used to uh, determine the value of internal resistance of the cells. Okay, uh, now uh, we will just start off with the principle of potentiometer, how a potentiometer works. Okay, uh, for a potentiometer uh, we have a cell of EMF E associated with uh, this EMF we will be having some internal resistance. Let us call of uh, internal resistance is smaller. Now, uh, across this we have some rheostat okay, of value Rh. Okay. Now, we will be connecting. This is rheostat is basically a variable resistor whose resistance we can, so this could have also been indicated by this variable symbol. Okay. And across this element, across this circuit, we have connected some length of a wire. Okay. Suppose the length of the wire is L. Generally, for a potentiometer, the length will vary from 4 to 10 meters. Okay. And uh, we'll see later that as higher the number, higher the length of the potentiometer, higher would be the accuracy accuracy for the potentiometer. Okay. So if we want to increase the accuracy or the sensitivity of a potentiometer, we we can use a higher uh, or a larger length of uh, wire in the potentiometer circuit. Now, uh, generally, this uh, uh, metal, the alloy which is uh, used for uh, making this uh, potentiometer wire is magnin or uh, constantin. Okay. Now uh, the resistance associated with potentiometer wire, let, it, let us suppose that the resistance associated with this length of wire, the entire length L of the wire is R. Okay. So between the points A and B, we have connected a potentiometer wire of length L and resistance R. Okay. So this is the primary circuit of a potentiometer. Okay. Now uh, if we suppose uh, the principle which is uh, used in potentiometer wire is that the if we want to find the potential difference between any two points any two points of the along the potentiometer wire suppose we need to find the potential difference between the points a and c okay the suppose the corresponding length is lac okay. so lac represents the corresponding length between the points a and c so as per this uh, as per the principle of potentiometer the principle says that the potential difference or the potential uh, uh, the potential difference between the points two points across a potentiometer is directly proportional to its corresponding length that means the potential difference between the two points A and C is directly proportional to this length. Okay, so we can write that the potential difference between the points A and C is directly proportional to its corresponding length. Okay, so this is basically a principle. This is basically the principle which we will be using in potentiometer. Now, if we will remove this proportionality sign, we need to introduce some proportionality constant, and the constant which we will be using here. Is known as this constant is known as the potential gradient. Potential gradient generally indicates how the potential changes with the distance. Okay, how the potential uh, uh, will vary when will uh, change the length of the potentiometer wire or the with the distances how the potential is changing. Okay, because since this wire is not of uniform resistance, the resistance will depend upon the corresponding length. So we can see uh, we'll uh, uh, use this parameter potential gradient to uh, actually for a potentiometer wire for a circuit for a primary circuit the potential gradient will remain same. Okay, if we won't change the parameter the primary circuit parameters the potential gradient won't change. Okay, so basically this potential gradient is a uh, intrinsic property of the primary circuit. This is the primary circuit of the potentiometer.